Hi and welcome back to the Ruby Tuesday. My name is Ruben and this is my review slash breakdown with spoilers of Season 2, Episode 4 of Alchemy of Souls. If you've been following along, we've been talking about in the comments what's going on with each episode and I'm doing my best to kind of recap and give my feelings on how the episode played out and what's to come in future episodes, where we think characters are going to go and what's going to be the ultimate outcome of our two main protagonists. But finally, we can talk about the kiss. Let's jump in. Flashes of another memories leads Bu Yon to find out more about Uk's past heartbreak. News of a feared assassin returns to shake the whole kingdom. There's a lot of threads going on in this episode. We have the prince who we have continued with the turtle storyline, which I think is a nice little levity moment for the storyline. He still doesn't know who it is he's talking to and neither does Bu Yon, which I think is quite a comedic moment. She thinks he is a eunuch doesn't know that he's the prince. He doesn't even know that she's the one that he's kind of been looking out for. Naksu is on the rise, a wraith version of Naksu, although we all know that it's been controlled by the dude with the goatee. And uh, the queen in the background is throwing a big party for the ladies to come around with her own Alteria motors, although it's politically it's a political movement as well but she definitely has her own dark desires set on a young person's body that's definitely what she wants she wants to jump into she wants to do some soul jumping which you're technically not allowed to do i guess if unless you're royalty there's different rules for you so she wants to do that we start off with the stones and uk is very upset and i guess i understand why because buyon put power into the stone because she thought at first it was her memory then she realizes it's not or at least she thinks it's not her memory and Oka comes running because he thinks that his lost love is alive again or hopes or maybe just an inkling and realizes that he kind of needs to move on there's a whole bit of character growth with Ook's character in this one and we get to that moment at the end where they finally share a bit of real intimacy I thought that was a really great character development from all of them we've been waiting for this moment and we finally do get it but the on the alter altercation side we still have to have that sort of the queen's party and what they're planning there and we have a nice little bit of magic a smallest bit of action we also get a bit of gore on the boat where we set the naksu wraith coming alive and this sets off the whole kind of town with people panicking and we get the underground selling these fake talismans to protect people one of the other bits of storylines we have in this uh, is with our six soul you we now see that he understands that there's something in him but he says he hasn't taken the medicine and that he's kind of willing himself to die now i'm betting that maybe he has taken the medicine even though Bu Yon has already said that there's something wrong with you you need to be seen because he wants to find out what's actually happening with him so there's a confrontation there that i quite liked the the episode itself is a little bit shorter than the previous episode by four minutes so not much but I do feel like they have a better pacing in this episode because we have a bit of horror with a bit of gore. We have some levity again with Kim and her future husband and he's cooking and him teaching. I guess it feels like they are his students. They're not really, but he is definitely teaching them. He is the elder, so they listen to him and respect him, especially as he was the previous uh, general. And so he's cooking, even though it's terrible, is teaching them stuff about life. And we see that come back later. It's also been a theme throughout the last three episodes. He seems to be the wise old man. Not that old, but old enough that you listen and respect part of the culture. I like that. But the love story with Kim is one of my favorite moments, is also always the bit of levity. It, we, and sometimes we need that when we have Uk in his depressive state. He's a very broken man. He needs to put Naksu to bed, really, out of his mind and move on. He hasn't been able to cry yet. And so there's a lot of character growth. We get a little bit of inkling of what's to come in episode five. This seems like there's going to be a decent action sequences. I'm, I'm fingers crossed for that because when they've done action sequences in the past in season one, they were damn good. We've not had any decent ones yet so far. We've had the startings of a moment, but so far we have really kind of dived headlong into the drama and love story and the politics of everything going on and all of that is great it's still fun i don't think it's as tight or as exciting as season one so far those 20 episodes and we're almost halfway now so episode five is literally halfway so they're really going to have to start kicking up that story if they want to finish it properly by 10 
So far, I liked this episode, and I do feel like they're all getting better as each episode goes along. Maybe because we're getting more invested into those characters as we get to learn a bit more about them. I like the friendships coming back together again. It's been a while since we've seen almost the four dudes back together again, and we had them there for a moment. Well, three of them there for a little moment, and I really wanted them to hug, but they never did. We also have a bit of a montage of a, you know, like when you get those wedding ceremony uh, films where they do a montage of changing dresses that in here was a lot of fun to see and tiring uh, there's the ulterior motive of things going on around the side and people not really knowing what's happening was interesting uh, the way the episode spliced that in into the arc i thought was interesting what do you think about Naksu the Wraith and the three-tiered body that is Naksu Buyon and I forget the other name, who she was originally when the spirit jumped into her and then transferred again? What do you think? Who is going to win out? How are they going to come to a conclusion of who gets to be in the body? Will Naksu be defeated or will she go into another body, her soul? will come back with memories or will she finally be put at rest and we won't see them being able to be in love together maybe now that we've had a bit of movement on the end we will see a new relationship form who are you rooting for i'm rooting for kim to finally get married <laughs> because uh, I think they're a great couple. So let me know your thoughts and feelings on this episode. I thought it was fun, but I'm looking forward to a decent action sequence and they're teasing that for next episode. So fingers crossed. Let me know what you think so far. Thanks so much for watching, but most of all, until next time, remember, live long on Tuesday.